Hi, I'm Dr Jenna Conde and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Digital Society at Western Sydney University, where I'm in the School of Social Sciences and I teach digital research methods. I'm also a Curriculum Champion for the University's 21st Century Curriculum Project, where I'm co-responsible for the challenge theme of Future Thinkers. Um, what this means is that I'm creating interdisciplinary curriculum with our external partners to open up key employability areas for a wide range of our students from different disciplines and applied backgrounds. So one of those areas of high employability right now and most certainly into the future is the technology sector and working with digital data across a range of fields. So in fact being able to understand, interpret and analyse data well in our datafied society is now a core skill and this is before the times of the pandemic where even more of our life has become digitalised. So a social sciences or humanities graduate with the ability to handle large amounts of digital data and make sense of it would be a valuable asset to any organisation. And the same goes for a computing or data science graduate with a deeper understanding of human behaviour and social life and what all this digital data actually means. So my focus is on creating learning activities, pods, modules and units and courses that enable students to get a better sense of where and how they can work at the intersections of technology and society. So I'm really keen to diversify the technology sector with budding new digital researchers from a wide range of different personal and academic backgrounds. For many, if not most of us, we are living increasingly digitalised lives. Um, Every day people across the globe produce data about themselves and the ways in which they live through the digital technologies that they use. And this data is valuable to various different people. Um, from governments to corporations, companies, universities, you name it, people are interested in your data. Sometimes the data that we make is, is really easy to see and sometimes it's really hidden in the digital infrastructures and architectures that frame the technologies that we use. So new issues are emerging all the time around privacy, consent and how much control we have over what people know about us. But never before have we created so much data about ourselves and our everyday lives and because this presents many opportunities and insights into the social world, research is increasingly digital. The web is providing researchers and others who are seeking knowledge and information about the ways in which we live, both with tools and environments to explore the intricacies of everyday social life. So currently the rules of research are being rewritten as we enter the field and do our field work and collect data through our personal devices such as laptops and mobile phones. The digital manifestations of daily life result in very rich storylines, accounts of our experiences and events that are worth studying as a phenomena in and of themselves are available to us through digital technologies and on digital platforms. So the digital world has become almost like an interactive memory container um, where participatory content that people have put online can become research data and digital um, users have become research participants. So it's no surprise then that digital research methods are gaining prominence and they are gaining, gaining even more prominence right now as we live in a pandemic and it's much more difficult to do face-to-face -face research in many different contexts. So people are turning towards the digital as a solution for their research. We've got traditional methods that are being transferred to the online world, such as surveys and interviews. And there's a whole space that's open for innovation. We could be analysing social media content. We might be working with our participants in a, in, in a more democratic way, citizen science methods, for example. Um, so there's this whole space that's really open for people to find new opportunities and work with participants to know more about the social world. So how will you become a digital researcher in this learning experience? There's three key ways. The first is using blogs. You will be blogging about your research experiences and the research that you're carrying out in this unit. Blogs provide a reflective space for you to think about your practice as a researcher and to join the digital sphere of digital scholars. The second way is that we'll be experimenting with different digital research methods. So you'll get to trial and test different research methods and see if they answer the questions that you ask about the social world. And the third way is that we'll be critically 
assessing the assumptions that we hold about the digital world and online behaviours and the kinds of things that we see and participating online. What do we know about it and how might that shift as we engage with different theoretical ideas and different concepts that are being developed to better understand digital data and digital phenomena. I am really happy that you've decided to embark upon this new digital adventure and I hope that you are too. Please ensure that you're prepared for any sessions by doing any of the pre-work in the pods and getting into those social media spaces that we'll be using for the duration of your learning experience. The most important thing about the digital world is that we take the opportunities and affordances it provides to network and connect with others that can support us along our journeys in finding our purpose. Um, we can support others in an effective community of digital budding researchers. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon.